Man, that's psycho in the chat. I don't know if they're fooling around. And no, I'm not from Jamaica. This guy said I'm from Jamaica. Nope. Valid question. Ooh, Jason versus Erling. Ooh, what a great matchup. We've definitely seen it more than once. Man and Fox. I feel like, uh, I mean, recently, between Korn and Aerolink, those are the two, like, or not Korn, I'm sorry, Cosmos. I Cosmos and Korn are, like, synonymous to me right yeah. now. But between Cosmos and Aerolink, these are, like, the two people that keep Jason, I think, from winning tournaments right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has gotten so much better so quickly. Like, he's improved at a rapid rate recently. Like, Please coming don't out say they're going players. to Lilat. Oh, my gosh. He's going to Lilat. They're starting at Lilat. This is a great stage for Bayonetta. I don't know why he was allowed to go here. I don't think it's a bad stage for Fox either, though. He can definitely cover platforms really well with his uh, up airs and all that. But when he gets off stage, his recovery can sometimes be affected. That's true. But I and mean, plus, Bayonetta's down smash can also hit through some of the, the, the bottom platform as well. Yeah. Not to mention she actually gets access to her little guns yeah. in neutral now. Exactly. Uh, which normally, without the tilting of the stages, don't really have access to, like right there. But I don't know. I feel like it could be a little bit in, in uh, Bayo's favor, but it's not a bad stage for Fox, I don't think. Here come the Fox combos. And as soon as you get Bayo up in the air, you can cover the landings on these platforms decently well. Because they have to after burn a kick to one, they'll be in a little bit of lag. It looks like right now he's not actually been given too many chances uh -oh, to capitalize. Fox is off stage. There he was able to stall his recovery a little bit, get through the telegraph down smash, and make it pretty safely on stage with the side B. Yep, he needs to watch which time. Especially since Fox has no grab confirmed. Not at this percent, for sure. Exactly. Oh, that's Which time? I said it. That's one of the main reasons why Fox loses this matchup. He has no safe way to actually get the kill. Now, knowing that, I feel like Jason's not going to be side being directly onto the stage nearly as often. It's not really the best option for Fox in general. A lot of characters can punish it with death. It didn't have to be a witch time. He could have just called it out or reacted to it and run up up smash. Yeah. But... And now Aerolink can play as defensive as he wants because he has the lead. I mean, that just means that Jason now has to deal with these ledges. Aerolink has forced him to deal with the ledges of Lilat, which is something to deal with, but it's Bad not the end of the world. I wonder if he had enough time to run up on up smash He there. did. Yeah. Went for the safe option, though, just grabbing, because he knew, worst case scenario, Aerolink would probably be shielding after that. Yeah. Jab, Solid jab, jab, jab. Still a combo. Ah, uh, here we go. The lasers and lilac. Now, something that a couple people might not know is that Fox has a reflector. Why isn't he doing anything about this? He actually can't reflect those. Um, because they're not technically considered projectiles, they don't get sent back by any kind of reflectors. They're considered articles. It's a really weird thing. You should look it up. It's probably got some information on there on the Smash Boards, but... Basically, they don't count as regular projectiles. Interesting. It's the same thing as her uh, smash attacks. Her smash attacks are also articles, and that's why they're able to clank with like every move in the game. Yeah. Bad for her smash attacks, but pretty good for her neutral game. And Fox is off stage. Easy Ooh. edge guard. He has no jump. Ooh, he came back. Jason's playing this super patient. He knows he doesn't, like, he can't rush in right now. Or There's still 2.43 on the clock. He can be as patient as he wants. Yeah. This, this could be bad. Yep. No. As I said, Lilat. Lilat. I said it. Lilat would cause problems to his recovery. Yeah, you did call it. I feel like now Jason may have learned his lesson. He might never go back to the hot against Bayonetta. Exactly. I don't feel like it was like the sole reason that he lost, but it did cause a lot of problems in the matchup. Yeah. Um, he did want to avoid the ledges in the beginning, which gave Aerolink the opportunity to seal out that first stock. And 
It also gave Airlink the ability to use uh, the bullet climax. Dude, the bullets changed the neutral completely. Fox exactly. could not approach until the stage tilted a certain way. Now that he's actually able to play the neutral game against Bayonetta, I think we're going to see a totally different pace. We're on Fox's stage, Battlefield. Best stage. Reading the rollback right there, searching for the rollback, Jason was, but instead just stole stage positioning. I mean, that's the best thing about that situation right there. You run straight past your opponent's shield, even if they don't roll and you don't catch them, best case scenario, you're now center stage. You have all the control. Really? No punish? Interesting. And now Aerolink's just kind of trying to keep up. Jason still needs to play patient. One witch time could turn around the whole match. That's very true. He hasn't run into any in neutral, though. The yeah. only time. Uh, Aerolink to Aerolink, yes. Aerolink. Due to uh, a death by Lilac. Yeah, I mean. Lilac basically forced him into the witch time because yep. he wanted to avoid the ledges. But in neutral, Jason's done a really good job of avoiding the little baits that Aerolink's been throwing out with him. As Ooh. I said, you need to avoid witch time. Up and smash. Wrong way. He that had is the, the second he had time. kill. Yeah, that. Uh, I feel like I uh, jinxed him a little bit. I'm sorry, Jason. But he made it out of there alive. He's probably going to be a little bit more wary. Really and good now catch by Erling. Exactly oh, my the edge goodness. Guard. Just like that, Erling has the momentum, and he has the stock lead. He turned this game around a little bit, but he's still a 155. Eh, yeah. Get up there. One unsafe recovery from the ledge, and Fox will kill you. That does not work. I mean, it does work. It's well, just it, not it guaranteed. Yeah, it's not guaranteed. And, you know, Jason did hold shield there, but he dropped it because he assumed, I guess, Airlink would stop the combo once he realized, I'm unsafely attacking a shield. As you can see, Airlink is mainly jumping in place, doing nares and back airs. Jason needs to find a way to put Air Link in the air so he can juggle him with the up air. That's the plan. He's got to wait until Air Link does something unsafe on the landing, or he's trying to force Air Link to approach right now, basically. He's got the percent lead. He's and throwing so the lasers here it is. out. And once Air Link does the one unsafe option, he can catch him with the dash attack, go in with a dash grab. And pop. up smash will take the game, or Ooh. forward smash. Really solid call on the ledge option there. Bayonetta's like using side B off the ledge. Yeah. And really good job not letting what happened in the first game. It's the replay. Uh, tilt Jason. Ooh, Did a really good job of saying, all right, now I'm actually allowed to play neutral against you. I'm going to destroy you with this opportunity. And he kind of did. He took solid advantage of that. The music counter picks on Town and City. Music counter picks are super important, honestly. If your opponent has on headphones, they music counter pick you to the roost. Yeah. That's cruel. So we start out defensive. And here we're seeing, this is just the way the matchup is played, basically. Fox wants to get the percent lead so that Bayonetta is forced to come in, and then he gets the punishes, because Fox, I mean, he has some really good approach options. Or has, he has some decent approach options, but uh, you don't want to run wild against a Bayonetta. Bad things can happen really quickly. I like how Jason isn't overextending. He's just waiting for for uh, Airlink to make a move. Yeah, Jason, is, Jason is definitely one of the more patient breed of foxes we have around here. Mm. He's going to be taking a lot of damage. Yeah, he missed his run there on that up smash and ate that jab combo for a pretty hefty percent. Now, if Erlen can get Jason off stage, that can turn around the match. Ooh, good air dodgery. Ba Bayonetta has one of the worst air dodges in the game. Even though people say she has a frame one air dodge, it's still one of the worst in the game. Yeah, it comes out quickly, but it lasts for a long time. Yeah. Like, not the air dodge itself, but the lag frames afterward. You got a lot of time to punish. And it's super telegraphed. She does the really ugly 
backflip. Mm. Solid catch on that rollback. As you can see, Air Link has been using uh, Witch Time a whole lot more. You can see he's starting to get scared. Yeah, he's definitely fishing for it, and he is not... I mean, he's not landed Jason on the hook once. He's not, ooh, Good really edge solid. Guard. Really solid with the bullet arts there. But he's still got a bit of a hill to climb. And one ump smash will take it on Town of City. Some awkward rolls leave Jason in a little bit of a bad spot, but now he's got stage control. And see, ooh, that was a punish right there, an up smash. Potentially. He should have finished his jab. He might have just missed the up smash input. He is playing with ooh, tilt punish. stick, so it's a little bit harder to get that up smash. You have to do the jump cancel. You can't just flick up on the C stick. That smash is good. There we go. And he waited for the witch time, too. Airlink had been using witch time a whole lot on that uh, second stock. And then I think the real lesson we've learned is never let Bayonetta go to Lilat. Yeah. Because the difference between games two and three and game one was actually insane. Exactly. Jason actually has a pretty amazing neutral, I think. Uh, he's really patient. So that. When he's not given an opportunity to use that tool to his advantage, it's not good for him at all. And you have to be patient when you play Bayonetta, even after the nerf. Oh, yeah. 